This is Kevin A. Creighton, the man behind King Size Customs. And I wanted to talk to you about a little something that I've been seeing that kind of piqued my interest. Uh, if you look towards, if you look behind me, that's my brother's closet, and that's our collection of tools. Uh, drill batteries, assorted batteries for power tools, uh, weed whacker, lawnmower. Yeah, I don't use a gas lawnmower. I don't have that much of a yard, but what I wanted to say was, um, so I follow Drifter D on here and Instagram. Cool guy. Uh, he's a younger guy, still in high school. He lives in Singapore. Um, so collecting there is a little different from collecting here. There's a bit of a higher markup on Hot Wheels. I know, right? You know, he's paying about, I think it's like $3 US for a Hot Wheel. So, um, but he gets a lot of Tomica. He does a lot of single car reviews. So that's really cool. Um, but one thing he talked about was he has this theory about why there are a lot of, uh, quote unquote, black market treasure hunts, treasure hunts that, you know, show up out of the Malaysian factory. He just scored a Nissan GTR R34, the green treasure hunt. Um, well, super treasure hunt. And he has a theory that he thinks that Hot Wheels is telling employees to steal these cars. I don't think it's that. I have another theory. So doing a little bit more digging. Sorry for the shaking here, guys. I need to get a camera tripod for an iPhone 8 Plus. But So doing a little bit more digging, I found out at the time of making this video that the rate of uh, the conversion rate for U.S. dollar to Malaysian uh, ringgit is one to four. So one dollar equals four dollars in Malaysia. And Drifter said he bought his car for 25 U.S. dollars. Well... If you know your multiplication, your times tables off hand, some of them I do, some of them I don't, but think of it like this. How many quarters are in a U.S., how many U.S. quarters are in a U.S. dollar? Four. So he bought his for $25. That's a hundred uh, ringgit. Now, I don't know what the prices of things are like in uh, Malaysia, but you see a lot of these... Uh, black market or let's say something a little bit more friendly pre-released supers that are taken from the factory what i really think it is is due to the standards of you know the work environment i think a lot of it is um i think a lot of it is to supplement people's incomes there like the employees are trying to supplement their income any way they can you know you figure uh in the united states well, let's go with my home state, Delaware, where I'm at currently. A minimum wage job is $7.25 an hour. So, you know, you're making, I want to say yearly, and I could be a little optimistic with this, but you're making, well, I know you're making less than $30,000, which is the average for the United States. But, you know, you figure $7.25 an hour, and then you get a hundred dollar bonus on top of that, where you find a way to make a hundred extra dollars that doesn't really take that much away from you, and you don't have to really work that hard. Of course, it's why you're going to steal supers or you know, uh, take them on a vacation away from the factory and give them to die hard collectors. I don't really think it has anything to do with Hot Wheels wanting to increase the market on these supers or the supers being super rare, but it's just, um. It's more about, I think it has to do more with employees because, you know, factory conditions. Now, I, I'll come out and say it like this. I don't know the exact conditions of people working in the Hot Wheels factory, but it's still, a, it's probably a minimum wage job like most of the labor jobs that were over here, the factory jobs over here. You know, you hear about General Motors, but you don't hear about, a lot of the other other factory jobs. And Hot Wheels, you know, Mattel is a business. So 
of course, they're trying to pass the savings on to you, so that's why uh, labor costs are what they are. That's why labor costs aren't that high. But with labor costs, you're cutting somebody's paycheck, so it's one of those, you take it out, you want it. It's a bit of a necessary evil, because what is it? Like, uh, you could spend, what, let's say $20? No, I think green lights are like... Let's say a regular green light car is uh, where I am. It's five ninety nine, and you know a Hot Wheel is a dollar, or a uh, Hot Wheels uh, adult collectible like the Entertainment series or the Pop Culture series. Uh, entertainments are like five where I'm at. I think uh, Pop Culture are like what three dollars about that. So. I think the reason why you get these, quote-unquote, uh, relocated, I like that better, relocated from the factory supers, is more about people trying to supplement their income. So, with that, I'll leave you guys with that. That's just my theory, but I don't know. It seems a little bit plausible to me, but again, it's a theory. There's no proof to it. So, if you like the video, drop me a comment. Well, actually, drop me a comment what you think. Does it sound plausible? Do you think I'm right? Uh, you know, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, if you're new here, I suggest you subscribe. King Size Customs, we do a lot of things. I got a lot of other things coming down the pike, coming down the pipeline here. So, I do custom cars and some other stuff. So, alright guys, with that, I leave you. Have a good one.